crazy morning. Uh, we we stayed back to try to spot this bear we went after a couple days ago across the river. It's been half hour when the guys left, probably, you think? Um, yeah. We've seen across the river and about a mile down a bear. We think it may be that same bear. Could be a different bear. We don't really know. And then all of a sudden, right after we spotted that, I looked back up here and spotted the one we think that Ryan was going after. And in the midst of kind of all this, it starts pouring rain. We hop in the tent for a minute, think about what to do. We hear a gunshot up there where Ryan was going after his bear. So uh, bears everywhere, gunshots are going off. It's a good rainy day for it. Got the uh, message for Ryan that he killed the bear up on the hill. Assuming it's the one we were looking at. Assuming it was the one from yesterday. But all he said was, killed the bear. I told him we saw one down river and across and really far away and he says let us know when you kill it so we're waiting for the rain to simmer down we'll probably pack up our stuff and and uh head out and see if we can find this bear and meanwhile looking for these guys glassing for them up on the hill but don't see him yet so uh but we only heard one shot so uh, yeah hoping the best for him it's deep <laughs> He's definitely smaller than the bear up there behind us. Yeah. I think it could be the same. But I just haven't been able to get a good enough look at him to see if it is the same bear. It kind of looks like he has the same brown nose. It seems like it does. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What you got? Yeah, so um, right here by this tree, Adam. There's, we've got a cinnamon bear right here. So uh, I was just looking high and he's right here. He's, he's just bedded down. So, sweet. Smoked him, good shot. Got him? Yep. He's coming back down. Um, oh, he's rolling, he's rolling. Heck yeah, Adam. Yeah? He just rolled right into that log. He's right underneath of it, I see him just. Yeah, dude. That's a good bear, that's a great bear. Pretty. Heck yes. Just gonna get him in here just in case. Yep, no, absolutely. Cause he started coming back down and then he turned his head back uphill and then he rolled down. Heck yes, dude. Heck yes. <laughs> yeah, well once he's once he like 
when he stood up and then moved over. Yeah. And I was like, instantly saw head and nose. I'm like, oh, that's yeah. a good bear. Yeah. And then as soon as yeah. he laid down and he stretched out, I was like, that's a great bear. Yeah, it's a good mature yeah. bear. Yeah, I couldn't tell yeah. at first because he, yeah. he went in and embedded yeah. so quick. Yeah. And so I was like, mm, I don't know. Like, the way he's sitting there, I was trying to gauge between the ground and the top of his back. Tough to gauge, like how to put it in the boiler. Yeah. Yep. Oh, exactly. Yeah. Especially because it looked like it hit about where you would aim. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. No, that was a great shot. Yeah. Adam just shot that bear. We are headed down to him. So <clears throat> we're gonna hope we can find a spot to cross the creek here. Um. But yeah. Got the bear out. Um, still can't believe the way the day played down, but beautiful, beautiful cinnamon bear. Just beautiful hide. Pretty mature boar. Um, couldn't have gone, couldn't have gone better today. Um, we we're glassing for a black one. Way over there, we we're gonna have to go down again, try to cross a river and go up. And so this thing just presented itself, napping right behind us, um, right by water closer to the trail um, and just a, a really pretty bear. So I feel super blessed to be able to get back by dark. I believe that they're, uh, that Ryan and Brian are chasing actually a second bear today. So I believe this is two confirmed bears down today. I uh, could be three, um, which is, which is pretty exciting, but I uh, love being in the outdoors and love being out here. And thanks Brad for uh, just being with me today. I'm supposed to be filming and stuff, but we've just been hanging out, um, having a super good time. So it's been a, it's been a brutally physical trip and just, you know, mentally challenging, doing a lot of things, but um, that's what keeps us coming back is when we do get to harvest a, a beautiful animal like this and um, and be able to, I don't know, celebrate in our success uh, in the field is just super cool feeling. And today it was raining, it was sunny, we're around waterfalls, haven't seen a person in the last four days. So this is, uh, this is why we hunt, right Brad? Absolutely. Yeah, so <laughs> man, we had a good time. Well, we are loaded up. We got the bear on our back, so we're gonna, I don't know, we got <clears throat> probably 1,500 feet to drop. We're gonna meet up with Adam and Brad, and then we're gonna run this bear out after we uh, cook up some bear and get some full bellies and head for the trailhead. Yeah, we waited for a while for that bear to come out, but he never did. We didn't really disturb that basin much. He's gotta be somewhere nearby maybe he'll come out in the next day or two but for today we have three animals to pack out two bears and a wolf and uh so we're gonna get moving and we might kill something on the way out just don't know just barely sweet beautiful good color on that yeah isn't it pretty yeah. He's, I mean, he's a big head. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Nice. sweet, Brian? Yeah. I love color phase bears. Yeah, me too. Yeah, the shot is going to roll him. He just rolled down the hill here. Go boom. And then he just rolls all the way down that long. Nice. That's so cool. The color on that thing. Mm -hmm. And he sits yeah. there for a minute and just tumbles down into that hole. Yeah. That's cool, man. Dude, what a color. I said it's cool when a plan comes together, but yesterday, the plan actually came different. We went after a bear down there, 
Yeah. Shot a cinnamon bear over there. You went after one bear there, shot a different bear, <laughs> and then chased another bear. So it was even, I think it was like, it, it was, was better. better than the plan. Better than, than we could have hoped for. Yeah. That's three, it's pretty cool. Three good boars. Well, I've never shot a color faced bear, so I was pretty really? excited about that. Uh, yeah. Sweet. So it's pretty cool. Heck yeah. What do you think, Brian? I love it. <laughs> Money. Uh, when, yeah. you, when you got your bear, and Ryan got his bear, I was like, oh, that's nice. Because yeah. we didn't have a bear. Yeah, 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 I know. <laughs> well, and I thought if you were going to get that other one last night, I was like, dude, this could be a three bear day. <laughs> if we had left so, 20 minutes earlier, we probably could have shot both. Yeah. Unless the bear smelled us. That's the yeah. other thing. And, and so yeah. well, we hung that wolf and yeah. it was, we hung it right below oh, where that bear yeah. was. Like he was yards, in, yeah. He was not two hundred yards yeah. above us. Yeah. When we dropped the wolf off. Wow. And you'd see him go like mm. ten yards, and then he'd have to stop, catch his yeah. breath, grab some grass. Yeah. When we saw him here, I just got a, like a quick glimpse of him in the footage, you know, because he was right there towards the top, because mm. he went through the trees and couldn't get him through the trees really. Yeah. And when he came out in the open, it's just rear end. <laughs> like, and then we were just so confused when we heard the shot. Yeah. And then you're watching that one, and we're like, I don't understand because <laughs> we didn't know there was two bears. <laughs> uh, <laughs> they had to have been yeah. way on the top like, because I just didn't get he crossed it. over to the top. That you know, oh, and we, I was like, well, I know you guys are good. We were side hill of him. That's how high we were, mm. we were mm. hustling. But mm. that other tank just got in our way, and fortunately, how big was this one? You we're shot? Gonna, we're gonna still work it's on this one. He's a giant. Giant. The one you got? Mm -hmm. huh. Big old head. Uh, that's cool. Yeah. That's They're awesome. both big bears that two, were up there. Two giants on the same little knob. Yeah. Well, and we got a boar over here we didn't shoot, and then the one that I shot. So it's kind of big boar territory. Mm -hmm. I think you know what there. else? So. We got is oh. we got bear meat. I'm mm. gonna eat it up. I am so hungry. Cool. Well, I ran out of food I yesterday. Of Did you? Man, you kept it cold too. I got some bear fat. Cool. Sweet. We'll jet boil this up with this. Cool. Eat Let's it. Let's do right this, here. Ryan. Oh, you and you right I'm hungry. here. Mm -hmm. Cool. So we got. We just happened to get a nice spring bear with a lot of fat on it. So we'll strip some off of there. A lot of these spring bears don't have much, but this one's got a ton, so we're gonna be in plenty to render down here. Get nice and low to start it. A little fat going in there. You ever had a uh, crispy little bear nuggets, Adam? <laughs> no, crispy little bear fat nugget. <laughs> yeah, we actually eat these too. Really? Mm-hmm. Mm. It kind of like, tastes like a. It's like a bear chicharron. It's like a popcorn, <laughs> mm. <laughs> but not. It's a little different. but it's calories, so we eat it. Deep fried bear fat. <laughs> <laughs> See that layer we got on there? Oh yeah. The idea is you want to get enough fat where they're all submerged kind yeah. of. Yeah. Oh yeah, you got plenty of grease in there. This is the Ryan Lampers bear boiling grease. Mm special with Good for the heart uh, what's tony's last name how do you say it i don't know but i've always said Ch sasheries it's probably chichero chicheries the original creole seasoning <laughs> here i just opened some tony's yeah here let the chef season it up there mm, that's good. Mm. Mm. Yep. Jeez, looks amazing. Okay. Tony Sashery. Sashery. Mmm. Mm -hmm. mm. 
Mm. Warm, mm. greasy, Gosh, crunchy, chewy. Well, that's a good way to do it. Not a lot there, but it's worth it. Mm -hmm. Well, it sure doesn't dry out. Mm -hmm. Oh. Mm. Mm -hmm. The nectar oh, of yeah. the gods. <laughs> this is good. That's some of the best bear I had. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's getting better like with every bite. I want more. <laughs> mm. There's a whole other big so chunk good. of biscuit up there too. Mm. I remember when I did triathlons. Yeah, it's not very during it. I'd get, be on the long bike portion and already swim, thinking of the run ahead, and I go, this is my last one. This is the stupidest thing ever. By the next day, I'm online signing up for the next one. Yeah. Isn't that how it goes? That's how it goes. <laughs> and I always say, if it's miserable, it's memorable. And this is a memorable trip, guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we just had a uh, belly, we got a belly full of bear meat, and uh, we got the bear loaded up. Adam's going down to load his bear up. Uh, Brad's got my wolf on his back. We're heading for the truck. So we're gonna haul all this out of here tonight, and uh, I'm gonna go get some meat in the freezer. Uh, check my wolf in and then uh, yeah Brian and Brad are coming back in to fill Brian's tag so that's what we're gonna do a little night hike out of here to the trucks right now well we got down to to uh, Adam's hide and meat now we've got a few miles out down to the truck packs are pretty heavy at least mine is <laughs> Mine too. No, I think everybody's is pretty yeah. heavy. Yes. There's no way around it. It's just heavy. Yeah, I like how I spend all this money on lightweight stuff and it's still heavy. I don't understand. <laughs> I don't understand. Once we let the wolf dry out, get it on my pack, we'll be ready to go. I'm not as heavy as any of these guys, so it'll be kind of a nice, enjoyable hike out. <laughs> You'll have your opportunity on the way back. Absolutely. <laughs> Brad and I. Once we get back to the, the canvas cutters and the camper tonight, the trailer, we're going to spend the night there, Brad and I, and then we're going to take off and go come back in and try to be in by the afternoon, see if we can get on that giant bear. Hopefully that bear's back. Maybe we'll climb over the basins and go where we last saw him go. But bear could be anywhere. So, um, but yeah. Just got to finish this pack out. It's heavy. Those quarters are back breaking. Mm -hmm. I got three quarters in the back strap, plus my camp. All right, let's rock and roll.
Well, I hit him and I saw him kick and then roll down this hill. Should be down. He's not the big one we were after, but he's a, he's a bear. We still have a lot of tags left. This is an area where they try to take a lot of bears out. So you can buy two tags. So Ryan and I each have two bear tags and then Brad has two bear tags. So we got four left. So I wasn't gonna pass on this one. And get another bear, put him uh, in the freezer. We were all out of bear meat. My kids eat it like it's the only meat we own. Uh, they just go through cans and jars of it like crazy. So, yeah, that bear, he got onto us or something. He started moving off and... That other bear did the same thing the other day. Just started moving off. It's like they're here and then they're like, okay, I'm out. But you notice he was not far from this other carcass. I think sometimes they come and they just check it out. Um, but hey, Brad, another bear down. At least I didn't see him come out of that. You saw him. You saw him take the hit, right? I saw him take the hit, and then he went. Do you see how he kicked out when he got hit? Yeah. Like, oh, and I was like, okay. He and then a minute later, I just saw him free rolling down that cut. The question that I have is. I mean, this has been a good basin for us. You know, you, you just saw that bear. Plus, we know the giant was here and Ryan killed his bear right here. You know, we go and get this bear and pull him out. What are the odds that another, that that bear comes back? I mean, when do you, when have you hunted this so much you've blown it out? That's the question. Yeah. I shouldn't have ruined any meat. I, I think I hit him as he was going uphill, kind of away from me. So I think what we can do is stash our camp up here and then we can haul him down to the waterfall. All right, got the tent all set up. I gotta cruise down and get this bear. Dude, check this out. Yeah, Ryan's there was right there in that little that little pocket. Up there. And that big slob is somewhere right here. I've had a couple of those little gnats fly into my eyeball and just stick. It's nasty. Dude, this is like crazy picturesque, you know? He ran down in front of these. 
because I saw him, like I could see him right hauling butt right against those rocks, yeah. There he is, dude. He's right there. Really? Yeah. yeah. Dude, he's right in that hole. I knew I saw him tumble, free fall. All right, let's get this thing broken down. Bear meat tonight, Brad. Oh. have uh, four tags. Brad has two tags, two bear tags still, and, and Lampers has a bear tag. I have a bear tag, so I'm just glad to have a bear down, have some bear meat. Um, we're gonna stash it under this waterfall, and that should give us uh, a few days where it can keep under there. It's nice and cool, shaded. Even if it gets hot during the day, it's cool under there. So I'll get the meat stashed up under there, and then we'll head into camp. That for me. Pretty cool already. These rocks feel pretty cool. Should keep. Let's go with some more bears. Well, we are back at the tent. Time for a little dinner. I'm gonna have a little cold cereal tonight because I'm all sweaty. Mountain Berry Granola, peak refuel. This one looks good. One cup of cold water to pouch. Close and shake and it's like cold cereal. That sounds freaking good. Like full on Strawberry City. Pretty good. That looks like a cup. Okay, I actually never had this one. Good. Too tired to cook. Is it good? Yeah. I should get more of these things. Anyway, I think that's it for tonight. We're going to sign off and uh, we'll see you in the morning. All right. Thanks for watching this week's video. Hope you liked it. Brent, what was your favorite part? Did you I, love the iPhone footage like I did? Oh, it was the best. It was the best. <laughs> For those that didn't notice, or maybe, I don't know how you don't notice, but the whole first half of the film is iPhone, two iPhones, Adam's iPhone and Brad's iPhone. Mm -hmm. And when we have footage filmed on like an iPhone and we're going to use it in a film, which we don't do very hardly ever, mm -hmm. we, or whenever we have subpar footage and audio and we try to make it into a palatable film, Brent and I have a term for that. It's called polishing a turd. Mm-hmm. Brian, Brian is very cutthroat with his footage. <laughs> yeah, I don't like... I want clean 4K, like... I, mean, I want nice footage. You're dragging all that heavy camera gear yeah. out there for but that reason. We, uh, we only had our couple of cameras, and then I took them up there uh, from the t tent up to the top, mm -hmm. while, and then Ryan shot his, his bear. Well, meantime, Adam and Brad are back at, at camp, and they were looking for the bear across the canyon, that's when they spotted the bear down Canyon. They moved down to get on that bear. And then they came across the, the um, color phase, red bear, uh, chocolate, cinnamon, it's whatever you want to call bear. it. It's, it's a gorgeous bear. bear. And, uh, uh, and uh, I just told Brad, you know, try to use your iPhone and try to use your phone, your phone scope with your, with the spotter mm -hmm. and, and just try to capture what you can. And, and see what we get. we'll see what we can do with it and turn it into something that people enjoy watching so i did the best i could with what we had to work with and i think it i mean if you're people always ask me what camera gear should i get to to um film a hunt and all of that well we just showed you you can do it with the phone it's not as good but you you can do a lot with pretty simple stuff it's not so much i think the the gear you have mm -hmm. but 
your editing skill, your ability to tell you a story. You have the right like, settings on your camera. That doesn't mean that it's going to look good when you put it in. I mean, let's <laughs> have it to Brad and Adam. They captured some good, some good stuff. They did really good. You know, I mean, um, like, and a phone. I thought Brad was going to drop his phone in the river, though, <laughs> like the creek there. And yeah. I thought Adam might take a tumble in the creek, but all they was did good. It. They made it. Good job, guys. But yeah, well, uh, minutes. I guess later, um, they shot that bear about the time Ryan and I were. Find, you know, walking up on his bear. It was pretty tight, you know. Mm-hmm. And then uh, we get back together. And it's it was fun. Um, my favorite part of this film, I, I like, I just like it when it's time to eat bear meat or anything. Mm-hmm. Deer, bear, elk. And it's important for us to share in the films that connection to the food. Uh, you know, we're not just out there hunting, but we're out there hunting and consuming and too often it's lost on people that we're out there not just for adventure not just for the challenge not just for for connecting with nature but we're out there for food too and there's just something about eating meat up on the mountain and bear meat boiling it and bear fat it's Mm -hmm. pretty tough to beat i mean bear fat's just unique tony's shashashashery chatcheries are the way to go you want to season your your meat up so Anyway, uh, hope you liked it. Um, leave a comment below on the YouTube video. Like and subscribe to the channel. We're going to do another giveaway. This time we're going to give away uh, these Mountain Ops pullout bags. You want to grab some of those, Brent? So those of you who haven't seen it, we've got these pullouts from Mountain Ops that go in your backpack. And uh, you can fill them with whatever you want. They're expandable, lightweight. Uh, they're pretty sweet. So we're going to give a kit of of these away i think this tag right here weighs more <laughs> but pretty cool little little pullouts for your toothbrush your poop kit you know whatever you got that you're packing so if you want to be entered to win um just leave a comment below and we're going to pick someone next week for for that giveaway last week we said we were going to give away a stealthy kind of stealthy hunter rifle cover that is a mouthful <clears throat> and so we've got someone that we picked brent uh, that would be Jacob Hollis. Uh, Jacob says, that terrain is insane. All I can say is hard work pays off. Great bear. Incredible footage and unreal hunt. I really appreciate the detail on the camp setup and gear. It really helps out on gear decisions. And for those of us who can't make it out every year for whatever reason, keep up the great content. Right on. Thank All you, right. Uh, send us your address. Do it. Send it to uh, Gritty Bowman at grittybowman.com. M-E-N. And we will get that off. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we also are doing a giveaway. Last week, we said we'd give away for Instagram uh, a Mountain Ops Merino hoodie, Battleground Merino hoodie. And um, we picked a winner for that as well. Thank you to everyone, by the way, who takes the time to leave a comment, who takes the time to share it on their uh, Instagram and their social pages. We really, really do appreciate Mm -hmm. all the support on that. And it's just fun to to uh, engage with everybody and do these giveaways on each uh, episode. This time we got Justin, I don't know how to say it, Justin Tikala? Justin Tikala. And uh, uh, that or it's Justin Tika LA. <laughs> well, <laughs> I, I don't Tika's know. Tika's a gun brand. Right, right. That's true. So, um, yeah. So we're giving away a Mountain Ops Battleground Merino hoodie. Send us, DM me right here on Instagram. Let us let me know your size and your address, and we'll get that shipped off to you right away. And if you want to win a three-pack of Ignite, boom, 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 three, uh, three, That's three tubs, months supply. three months supply of Mountain Ops Ignite, share uh, this film on your Instagram, and we're going to randomly pick another person next week. Tag myself, Brian Call, uh, Brian underscore Call, and tag Stealthy hunter ryan uh lampers uh it's at sta healthy s-t-h-e-a-l-t-h-y hunter it's a mouthful Gosh, so man. uh so do that and then we are in the midst of giving away a an, an initial ascent uh 6000 6k backpack and 
to be entered to win for that. For those that don't know, we started a, a community over at locals.com. It's a gritty, stealthy community. Over there, we have exclusive films that you've never seen before, exclusive podcasts, exclusive live stream content. We've been live streaming there twice a week with the community, and there's a little community page where you can engage with others on the page. It's uh, 70 bucks for the whole year if you want to sign up and you get access to all of that, and it really helps us out tremendously. We have a big growing group over there and it really does help us stay independent and be less, less, less reliant on uh, corporate sponsors and stuff. And we really have tried to drive our show toward uh, an independent platform where we can pretty much use and talk about whatever things we want to without um, being confined to agreements that kind of prevent us from just being authentic. So it's been really nice uh, to have, to have that uh, support out there. So we really appreciate that right now. We're going to give a backpack away that initial ascent pack away on August 1st. So everyone who is a supporter over there who has signed up, if it, if you're over there, um, we're going to randomly select someone on, on camera on uh, the first and, and pick a winner. So, if you, if you're interested in that, go for it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for all the support across the board. Uh, next week's film, next week's film is going to be a new series. We still have footage left over from this hunt. We actually hunted mm-hmm. about four, maybe four or five days longer. There's a lot of footage still. And, but me, uh, Brad and Ryan, the three of us, uh, Adam Weatherby had to leave and we hunt for another four or five days and but when we come this close, each of us come this close to taking bears over and over again. Cool stocks, cool footage. We go down the the canyons again, cross the river, climb the other side. We get after it. Unfortunately, we're just we're just we're just moments away from being able to get those bears. And uh, Ryan, he Dang he it. had he, he just, only shot three bears and a wolf. What <laughs> Ryan, a failure! Ryan a Ryan couldn't catch up and catch oh, a bear. He'd been man. trucking after on the ridge tops, and he has some cool video of this bear like digging a hole to China for ground squirrels and plopping them out and eating them on the <laughs> mountain. Big old big old cho- chocolate. Oh, could you imagine something more terrifying as a ground bear? squirrel? No. <laughs> So it's a cool, it's cool footage, but we're going to table that. We'll probably just release it on, uh, the gritty stealthy community on locals.com, uh, in a few weeks. Cause we want to move on to the next, the next, uh, hunt, which is with our friend, Mark Livesey at Treeline Academy, Treeline Pursuits on Instagram. We brought, we bring in the llamas, we get after some bears and Ryan and I are actually able to each take bears that got away from us last year that we um, had our hearts set on. We had, we had red lightning and chocolate 2.0. Mm-hmm. They gave us the slip last year. We went back in and we, uh, we get after them. And in G bears. Did I, is that a spoiler? Like <laughs> uh, nah, it's what I, we I do, mean, you we kind do. of announced it. It's kind of been all <laughs> yeah, it's kind of on Instagram, Instagram. but yeah. it's kind of crazy. Like how things come together and it's a, it's a cool hunt in a new area. We bring the llamas with us. So there's that angle mm-hmm. too. And, and Mark uh, is a badass. If you guys don't know who Mark Livesey is, uh-huh. shameless plug. Mark Livesey, <laughs> go check out his master class of e scouting. Yes, Treeline Academy. It, elk season is approaching. If you haven't downloaded and purchased the the Treeline Academy um, e scouting classes from Mark, you're really missing out. It is worth every penny. And when you use the code gritty, you save, and it helps us too. Mm-hmm. But it will absolutely change your hunting life. Uh, it's, it's that good. Uh, it's, it's just, it's an excellent course. Mm -hmm. So you'll get to know Mark on all these upcoming episodes Mm -hmm. as well. See the man behind the course Mm -hmm. and it's, it's just a cool hunt. We get bumped by grizzly a few times. We see more grizzly than we do black Mm -hmm. bears. You know, we bump into a lot of grizzly bears. So it's a, it's an intense little trip we're on. And they come in and they push Ryan around in camp while he's there alone with the llamas. <laughs> and the llamas are screaming. Ryan has to fire a few shots. It's pretty uh, cool. He took the time to grab yeah. a camera, though, to film yeah. the whole thing. Good man. Um, <laughs> anyway, it's a, it's a cool hunt. So we're going to jump onto that uh, for, for the next cool. few weeks. And then after that, we have some elk footage that we're excited to drop. Some archery elk hunts that we want to just ju- jump uh, drop in there before and get them out there before. We start this uh, year's mm-hmm. s- before September hits, and it's time 
get you guys amped one, one last little bit before the season, the archery season starts. So that's what's going on. We really appreciate all the help, all the support. Thank you for tuning in and stay gritty. <laughs>